basically as long as uh, Whoa! This is like so weird. My bike just quit. Really? Yeah. Like totally? Yeah. Does it start? No. It won't start. No. That's not good. It didn't get hot or anything, though. I mean, the oil light like, came on, but that like always comes on when you turn it off and on. Yeah. I think honestly, the battery died. Oh, it can't. I don't know because I just turned it off and then turned it back on, and the starter like barely went. Oh, your your lights have been on this whole time. Yeah, I know exactly. That's what I'm saying. Let's check. Okay. Okay. See, don't do it. Like yeah. Yeah. Barely, I think it's yeah. the battery. Okay. Ready? Let's get, let's pump. Let's do it. Just don't stop it for a while. Ready? Just bump start. Okay. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm in second. Okay. Make sure your key, yeah, key's on. Go. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, Han. Keep your lights off. You know, that's so weird because it's like I bump started, or I mean, when I let the clutch back out after it died, it would bump start again. So. You're, because you're, it totally died. Yeah. Just keep the lights nice. off. Let, you, this bike draws so much power, I can't the, ride the, with my lights on. I don't think you can go slow and stop and all that with the I lights. No, I don't think so either. Okay, well, my bike keeps quitting. I guess we're going to bump start it again, and i got to keep riding fast to recharge it. Hopefully it's recharging. Yeah, we don't know Should we just turn around the other way, huh, maybe? I don't know. It's the same. Okay, ready? Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Go. One more. One more. Go. Go, 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 go. Just keep going. Don't go slow. Keep the revs up. Damn, it's hard to see. Oh, Gotta keep, keep it above, above 5,000. 5, oh, well, it's warm. <laughs> like before, it's time he's not to push me already. Hey. Catching up. You catching up. I had to go down into like second gear because I was going through the construction zone just to like keep the revs up. I just forgot I had to keep it above 5,000 RPM for it to charge. But the high beam light came back on, so that's good. Yeah, just keep the revs up. It's not going to overheat this weather. Yeah. we got to ride it all the way to, like, all the way. It's a good sign. If your light came back, that means it's charging. There's a few problems with that bike. Somebody put the headlight, the wrong, I think they put the wrong bolts in there. So they're, like, take tons of juice. Yeah. But they're not supposed to. If we switch those to LED, they would solve everything. This is pretty gravelly. I guess we'll just do it here anyways. I quit again and just did a huge backfire. Now I think there's a loose connection. I know. Why would it be charging back up? The rectifier is bad. It kind of feels like it's a loose wire. Because why would the light kind of go on and I off? Know. Careful, it's really deep. Well, here we are at Yellowstone Lake. What a buzzkill. Just flying along. The starter connection was weird before, so we were just tapping on the starter. Maybe we should just check the connection for the battery. Yeah. Oh, now it's raining. It doesn't sound like a starter's working again. Those, the lights look brighter, though. I did. It's but it also could just be because it's... Charged back up a little. Maybe the starter is going. I don't know. The only other thing I can think to do would be like change the rectifier. Change the rectifier just to check it. Do you okay. want to just do it? I mean, we might as well. I mean, if yeah. So we gotta just take all this off. Okay. Well, the rain's let up, which is nice. We are replacing the rectifier now. We're gonna see if that helps. Other than that, we don't know what it would have been. Like a loose wire. Everything looks good. Connected to the battery. So, we'll see if this does it. Okay, we just took the old one off. Now we're putting the new one on. It won't be sweet if it was just the cheap rectifier that we had. It's kind of downhill right there now. Yeah. Here, why don't we just both push until there? Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh. It went and then it didn't keep going.
ね。I'm like trying to ride fast, like keep the revs up, and it's like so bad with the visibility. So it's sketch because I'm like afraid a deer is gonna run out or something. But, anyways, obviously, it's not the you can walk the fire, so there's never a good shoulder when you need one, all right? Hey, I just died again. There's, I'm try I was trying to find a good spot, but I don't know. I feel like it's better to be visible, maybe. Okay, well, I'll start taking my bags off. I know, I was thinking of that too, but that looks sketchier because they're coming from that way on a blind corner. This, they can see us from a mile away. This is the right spot. To me, this already looks like we're done. Because of the stator wires? Do you have AAA still? No, I don't think I ever did. Should we go tow back to Jackson, I guess? Really? Or should we try to go to Montana? Yeah, totally fine. So then it probably needs a new Seder. Okay, let's get out your knife. There was only one man for the job. Should I call it your play? Okay. I'm in my The stator wires and adapter had melted into a huge mess. We decided to cut the melted wires and try reconnecting them to see if they would still work. Okay, so this now goes to here, and this one goes left to here. Okay, so we reconnected all the stator wires. They were all melted together. They were all melted together, so we're gonna see how long this lasts. Okay, go. Babe, just keep going all the way and I'll catch up to you if we don't have a problem with me at the geyser. Okay. Go. Is it going? Yeah, it's going. Did you hear me? Meet me at Old Faithful. Okay, well, we just got to Old Faithful parking. Uh, my GoPro died, of course, while I was riding and I couldn't do much about it. Anyways, it was a sleeting oh mess. <laughs> It was like freezing. It didn't quit, which is good. So hopefully we can, I don't know, keep bump starting it and keep going. We gotta go figure out if we wanna keep going towards Missoula or go back to Jackson. Um, because obviously there's something more serious of a problem going on. We're not really sure what it is. How's morale? Pretty chilly. It's like 9,000 feet sleep. Can't see that well. It's not ideal. But like otherwise, pretty awesome. We did see a huge bison on the way in here, but we saw a bunch the other day, so we didn't stop. I just went out to the bikes to get the uh, water bottle and the whole bag was shredded and an animal has thrown the food all over the ground and it was all over. I didn't have a camera out there, so I couldn't. It looks kind of shredded. I couldn't take it, but, there, and, and then my earplugs were on the ground. It like got into my tank. There she blows. Old faithful. Whoa, it's like way bigger than I remember. Cool. All right, we're on the walking loop now. It's still coming down, actually, it's picking back up. But it looks so cool over here with all the steam. Oh, here's a boiling one. Bubble. This one looks warm. <laughs> it almost looks like the land is on fire. Oh, look at this little one. Very cool. Hopefully this whole thing doesn't erupt while we're here. <laughs> Anyways, so it's still pouring and all the motorcyclists that we've seen here, everyone's parked under the cover hoping that it lets up. But we looked at the weather report and it's just like red all around, all over Yellowstone. So 
It's gonna be re like rainy the whole time. We're gonna try to make it to Butte, which is like three hours, and then reassess. Another glance out to the other geysers. It's cool, you can like walk around to each one. Well, we will move our bikes over here. It's raining pretty good. It's like winter here. Well, we scored some ponchos out of the trash so we can minimize how soaked we're gonna get. Just goes to show, even if you leave in the blistering heat, the weather can change in the Rockies in a heartbeat. I'm gonna put okay, ready? a little choke on. Just a tiny bit. Like that. Okay, ready? All right, do it. Go. Okay, I'll get you. Good. Okay, go for it. Go. No. Okay, hold on. Okay, go. Go. No. Okay. I'm gonna give it more choke. Yeah. Only we had the green chili toast strap. Is your bike staying running? Not really. Really? Alright, let's just do yours. Did it even fire? No, I probably need a little more choke. This is why we like the kickstart bike. I don't have to worry about this. Why don't I push you? You're pushing so much. Okay. You want to do that? Sure. Okay, ready? Yeah, you want to put it in second? Kick yeah. it down, too. Okay, let's do it. Get on and ride. Sorry. Okay, I got it. She's pulling it in like 45,000 right, right now. Man. Hey, let's just, yeah, just go. go. It's too difficult to keep the wraps up. People can f off because it's raining and we're on bikes. Yeah. Maybe your poncho is like blowing up like a balloon. This thing makes a horrible sound too. Poncho? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh well. It's poncho. W.S. Motorcycle Use Detour. Shit. What does that f mean? I don't know. I'm not. I'm glad we didn't spend 25 bucks on ponchos because you like totally shredded. There's, there's like two pieces waving up and the back got to fly off. Oh my god. Well, I'm glad you're having a good time with it. <laughs> um, I, if it wasn't for your bike, I'd probably be dry. I'd probably, I know. I'm sorry, hon. Cool. That's pretty cool looking. At least there's some blue ahead. I know. Hopefully we get to that blue. I don't know if we can get around these yeah, people, really. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep my revs up. Yeah. Let's just go this way. Yeah, slow. that looks okay. Just keep your feet out. Like, makes it look like we're going slow. I mean, everybody's sitting in their warm-ass cars. They're going to drive. Yeah. You saw a motorbike going by. They're getting totally wet with patches on. They'd be like, yeah, go for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on. Do you think that the headlights just totally fried the stator because the wrong headlights, which are getting extremely hot, so that caused the stator wires to just, like, melt together. So we need to replace my headlights, or we're actually just going to unplug one headlight, we think. But, yeah, another reason why we Ooh. can't be riding when it's, like, gray or dark, because I can't turn my headlights on or else my bike doesn't work. So yeah. cool. Oh, somebody just shot a gun. Yeah, I, I think so. Maybe we're like actually in the, the rain shadow right now, you know. Uh oh, there are some clouds up there. Don't say uh oh. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, with your bike, every time you say that, I'm like, it's just I know, I'm sorry. Man, I don't know if you can just tell, but the water is so clear. It's like amazing. It's pretty. Wow, it's crazy. Yeah. We're so happy to be in the sun. It's so nice. All right, we're just rolling into Big Sky now. And it definitely is a big sky. It's a little stormier up ahead, but maybe we'll scoot to the right a little bit. Who knows? We went from stator anxiety to fuel anxiety. My fuel light's been on for like 40 minutes now. <laughs> Getting a little nervous. Okay, we just filled up my bike burned another gallon and a half than Ethan. It definitely was on the edge. Right? Okay. Got a little bit of a thing, so you should be all good. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thanks, man. Arrive alive. Don't text and drive. There's all these funny things like this. It's really cool. It looks like a fun raft. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like an awesome river to go rafting on. Wow. 
Wow. I mean, that looks kind of sketchy to go wrap through that. I know. They're going through that now, huh? Yeah. Damn. They looked a little unsure. They were just standing on the rock. We're just kind of debating whether we should stay in Bozeman or keep going to Missoula. Because it's still like three and a half hours to Missoula and we're on the fence. I think we're just going to pause in Bozeman and see. Wow, this is like Rock stunning. Haven. Man, there must be some cool climbing in there. We're just on the outside of Bozeman and it looks super stormy over there, which is the direction we would be going. So we're kind of thinking maybe we'll find a place to stay in Bozeman. I don't know. We're going to take a look at the route and see the way the weather is moving. But we do have to go over another mountain pass. So, you know, it doesn't look ideal. I mean, there's a ton of rain right there. You can see the rain. We also have been riding since 7.30 this morning, 7.20, and it's already 4 4 o'clock. So obviously that was because we were doing bike work on the side of the road in the bleeding rain, but... (laughs) Still kind of tiring. How you feel? You warm? <laughs> Getting too hot. Remember when it was over like a hundred degrees? Yeah, How's it man? Seven. We're in Butte at what Sparky's? Yeah, it's actually awesome. Alright, we're gonna warm up.